You're very welcome back. Now we're already bang in the middle of the 15th season 15th. of Strictly Come Dancing, if you can believe that. Oh, wow. Where the pros <clears throat> wow with their glamorous costumes and slick moves on a weekly basis. And we're joined by two people who know all too well the hard work that goes on behind the scenes of the mega hit show. Yes, they have now teamed up to perform across Ireland in a new stage show, an evening with Christina Rianoff. Am I saying that right? Yes. <laughs> and Tristan McManus, did I say that right? <laughs> you did that, yeah. <laughs> And they join us this morning ahead of their first Irish day tonight in Thurlis. Good morning, guys. You're very morning. welcome. Good morning. You've Thanks a, for having you've us. You've got a long day ahead of you. You do. Yeah, driving. It's not too bad. Yeah, we've got a quick performing. drive down now. Yeah. <laughs> now, have you ever been to Thurlis before? No, I haven't. <laughs> you're, you're going to love it. You're going okay. to love it. OK, I look forward to it now. Tell you're us, in for a tell treat. Us, <laughs> tell us what people can expect from the show. What kind of show are, are they going to see? Well, the show is very interactive. It is an evening with, so people are able to actually ask us questions. So we have Q and A, and also they have we have audience participation, so people can come on stage and dance with both of us. Okay. So it's very interactive, and I think it's really for the people to get to know us a little bit, get to mm. know about Strictly, all those burning questions they want to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what that What's judge really, really that like? nice? Yeah. What that guy really that nice? Yes. So it's a bit of that, and obviously our favorite dancers, because mm. when you're in Strictly, even though you perform lots of group numbers. Um, we have people who choreograph them for us and it was real real pleasure to do things together and choreograph dances we like and put them to the music we like so it's literally everything we sort of love and dancing it's all on stage. Yeah. Did, it, did it ever surprise you guys when you ran it? I know you'd done Dancing with the Stars and States but when you did Strictly just how big it is. Not in, even in terms of the production. Yeah. But the reaction to it, the public just adore it. It is, it's yeah, mental, yeah. I mean, look, it's a, it's a great show for people to watch, like, you yeah. know. I mean, I don't watch it personally, like, you know, but but again, <laughs> everyone everyone knows about it, everyone knows who's on it. You know, yeah. everyone knows the phone numbers. Well, I read an interview to... yesterday, actually, uh, in The Guardian with Susanna Reid. Yeah. And yeah. she would have been exposed to one million viewers, 1.5 million, yeah. on her breakfast show, mm -hmm. which was a huge mm -hmm. show, you know, in itself. Yeah. And suddenly she joined Strictly, <laughs> and she was exposed to 16 million yeah. viewers on a Saturday <laughs> night. Yeah. Yeah. And her whole life changed in terms of the recognition. Phenomenal. You know, mm -hmm. what she could do. So it just shows it's a juggernaut of it a really production, is, yeah. isn't it? This is the biggest show on TV, isn't it? Yeah. So it is. It's yeah. absolutely massive and people sort of get so much into Strictly, you know, mm. they're talking about it, they have a Strictly night when they all gather together with friends and families, yeah. you know. My sister watches the show yeah. with my nine-year-old. very one, sweet, actually. One of my, I have four boys, but my nine-year-old watches the show with my sister and with his mum. But they'll sit with notepads and they'll oh. get it. Of course. Of course. <laughs> That's oh, what's great sweet. about it. Yeah. Yes, the but kids they, but get they involved. completely get into it. Yeah. I, know. I cannot wait then for Sunday to see who's gone and if it tallies up with their scores. <laughs> and, and yeah, it, they're disgusted if their favourite dancer doesn't I get the know. score, they think. Yeah. That really is what's great about it. And that's, that's, I guess that's why we like doing this show as well, because yeah. it is quite interactive. And, and again, there's, there's only a <clears> certain <throat> amount of things that people tell you about us mm -hmm. and about the celebrities yeah. who are on yeah. the show. So, so this way, we, we kind of we get to meet the people who love the show so much. Yeah. You of know, course. Kind of answer. And we have like great questions, really interesting, about pros <laughs> and about how the whole sort of process happening with the group numbers or how yeah. you put the dancers together with the celebrities. So it's a little, little bit of an insider, I suppose, yeah. right? They can get brutal as well. Yeah, like, they, they can get of... brutal, yeah. That's <laughs> interesting, Christina, in, in terms of, because they always ask the celebrities who are on it, mm. you know, the commitment that you make and you're mm. rehearsing three, four, five days a week. I know, this, I know this is your job because you're a professional dancer, but yeah. you've got all of that with your partner mm -hmm. and you've got the group dances as mm -hmm. well. Mm. Yes. So it's seven days a week. I'd it imagine. is seven days a week and it's definitely a six months job, you know, commitment. Without, commitment without days off. Yeah. Because every Sunday, pretty much, you either do a group number for the next week or you choreograph the next dance, you know, if you're through mm. to the next week. It's a very full on and um, it's an amazing show and I've done eight years of it, but yeah. it's literally... Can we talk about some yes. of your partners, both yes. of you actually, yeah. because you, you've had quite an eclectic mix of personalities, <laughs> yes. let's say. <laughs> so you you've had, uh, you, Christina, have had on Strictly um, the likes of John Sargent. Yes, my um, first partner. <laughs> First partner, yeah, and you finished in, in seventh place. Then you uh -huh. had the boxer Joe yeah. Calzaghi, you'd Goldie, yes. Jason Goldie, Donovan, yeah. mm -hmm. yes, um, you'd Ben Cohen, who's now yes. your partner, of yes. course. 
um, in life as yes. well as your, yes. your dance partner. <laughs> Still dancing um, together. And Daniel O'Donnell. <laughs> Daniel O'Donnell, I know. I Tell know. us about Daniel. Oh, there we go. Look at here he is. We there he is. We <laughs> Daniel. He was, oh, he was a pretty man. bad dancer, wasn't he? Well, <laughs> <laughs> like he was. Oh, he's so sweet, Daniel. Honestly, um, do you know what? It's so brilliant that actually you 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 meet great people on the show, and, yeah. and I'm still in touch with Daniel Magella. I really adore Magella. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're great. She's fun. Absolutely amazing person, and we keep in touch. And actually, saw them a few months back in London, and um, brought my little one, you know, for them ah, to meet lovely. and all of that. But what was really strange about Daniel? He's such a great performer, and he loves yes. what he do. Mm. He lives on that stage, and he was mm -hmm. actually frustrated with himself because he was saying, "I can't understand why I'm so petrified." I mean, it, it is very much out of the comfort zone, because right? Because it's a different skill set. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. He never ever made a mistake when we rehearsed. I remember, you know, ever. And then the first night, we're doing the walls, and he completely blanked. He just stood there, and he was staring at me. And I understood there is like the lights are off, and basically no one's home, and I have to do something <laughs> with him. <laughs> so we just are dragging him around, you know. But then he snapped back, and he was saying. It was the most weird experience of his life because he completely kind of blanked out. But isn't out. that so interesting? Someone who performs mm. all over the yeah. world. Yeah, so and nervous. Such a well I love known. the fact, the that, I love the the fact that you develop friendships and yeah. relations with the partners. So I was recently did uh, an evening with Brendan O'Carroll at, yeah, the, at yeah. the Board Gosh yeah. Energy Theatre. And of course, You're very good there. So. Ah, God, yeah, I'm thinking <laughs> of taking it up professionally. I'm only thinking about it there. But I was comparing the night. It was an evening with Brendan. And of course, Jenny was there. Who, of course, and, and Tristan was there. Yeah. He yes. came over with so some Jenny of Strictly guys. So Jenny was one of your partners. We are still yeah. pals. And yeah, Jenny was my, my my first partner on Strictly. So uh, and, and we <clears> hit it <throat> off. We hit it yeah. off. And uh, yeah, we're still in touch. I'm actually working for Mrs. Brown's boys now. So um, yeah, yeah, things are great. Like I said, that's that's one of the great things about it. It's it's one of those shows where where people love it, but the people who compete on it, they're really there to get hammered. You know, it's kind of yeah, like the yeah. same thing yeah. with Daniel. Like Daniel does a show, he's very comfortable. People are there to see Daniel. Yes. yes. You know, not necessarily yeah. how many people kind of tune in to see the show, they're not all there to see Daniel do great. <laughs> yeah, some yeah. of them are, yeah. but yeah. some of them are there to see the rest, and, and that yeah. can kind of... And yeah. Yeah. Well, you, looking, looking at the tour that you've got ahead, because you're, you're yeah. going around Ireland from tonight, mm -hmm. yes. right through to the 15th, you've got dates in Waterford, Coleraine, Dundalk, <laughs> Derry, Belfast, and then a couple of nights in the Mill Theatre in Dundrum. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a fairly hectic show, and you should yeah. be a little bad by now. How, yeah. how, do you miss? It's is tough. he travel it with is, you? Or? Do you know what? I have, everything just became so very different when you have a baby. You know, yeah. the tours used to be a lot of fun. You go to new places, you stay in nice hotels, and it's all great. And now, every second, you think, I just want to be home with her. I just want yeah. to be home with yeah. her. And the only time I really feel, you know, sort of free from those kind of thoughts is when I'm on stage, because yeah. I love what I do. I'm a performer, yeah. I love the show, and obviously I love and uh, seeing the fans. You know, and that's yeah. my job. Yeah. And I have to work like everybody else. Yeah. We have to work like everybody else. Yeah. But it is tough, you know? Yeah. And we just had, like, four days off after yeah. Scotland week, uh, Scottish week, and it was amazing to be home again, you know? But, um, yeah, it's all very different now. She's the best It changes ever. your perspective. Perspective, doesn't yeah. it, in oh, terms absolutely. of your work schedule and yeah. I'm everything. lucky I've got my girls over now, yes. so, that's, so they'll, they'll come with us for a couple yeah. of days. So. I once said to somebody in an interview, they asked me about being away filming, and I said, it's good and it's bad because when you ring home, it reminds you why you're away working. Yes. Yeah. But it also reminds yeah. you what's there for you what when you get missing. home. Yeah. Of course. So those four days when you get home are fantastic. I know, I know. It, it is fantastic. And she's uh, changing <clears> and growing, right? They, they say she's yeah. just 16 months. It's all kind of crazy with her mm. now. She's talking in her own language. You know, yes. It's a breed between Wonderful. English and yeah. Russian and um, running around. Is and she trying... showing any natural kind of... Well, yeah, I don't know. She might be a rugby <laughs> player, you know. <laughs> Chang, cha cha to the high chair. She does like the music, mm. but she's also like into her footballs and uh, sort of So where's balls. home for you now, Christina? No, Hampton. No, Hampton. 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 Where's home for you, Tristan? Sydney. Sydney? Yeah. yeah wow, Sydney, okay. So. Mm. But it's um, nice to be here in Dublin. Nice to be here. Most important question, what's Tess and Claudia like on, on Strictly? Um, this is one of the questions you yes, have to answer every know, single night of this tour. Well, <laughs> Claudia is completely bonkers. She's yeah. absolutely the best, I think, ever, mm. you know, to, to, to do what she does on Strictly. She's so quick and witty, you know, with her jokes. She's absolutely amazing. Tess is so nice. She really is the most nicest, sweetest lady. Like like us. Yeah. Yeah. Just yes. like us. Yeah, just, just like, like you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. Thank Thanks you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank Thank you. To catch an evening with Christina Rianoff and Tristan McManus, check out strictlytheatrecompany.com for tour dates and ticket information.